Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you our PaySec dashboard and walk you through on each functionality. So let's get started. Please note, however, that we are using a test environment for this purpose. First, log in to your account, type in your username and password. Once you're logged in, you will land in the dashboard. The dashboard gives you the summary of all your transactions from 12 midnight to current time. The red box shows the transaction overview by count, the total number of transactions, the successful and failed count with success rate. The black box below is the corresponding volume or amount, or we simply call it your sales volume. Refunds, if any, will show in the blue box. Number of refunds, successful, pending, and refund ratio. The gray box shows the chargeback details, which does not apply to CUP. On the upper right side is a more interesting view because this shows your running balance based on the currency you're processing. You will also see the conversion in US dollars, but please note that the converted amount is only indicative and may differ from your official settlement statement. Some very useful action buttons for you, the request settlement button. Once you click it, our payments team will receive a notification of your request. The view settlements button gives you the list of all settled balances. Once you click it, you'll see all the settlements that have been processed. The apply for new currency allows you to add a new processing currency in just one click. The middle section shows a graphical view of failed and successful transactions, while the transaction summary counts the number of transactions per status, successful, failed, and total, or total count with a successful volume and success rate. The bottom part is more of historical data and lets you go back quickly to the dates you wish to see. This is really easy. All you have to do is filter by start date and end date. And click filter. The result will show the data according to your filter. By the way, your left screen shows the main menu. Now we're done with the dashboard menu. Let's go to the transaction monitoring. This section is the more exciting part, if I may say, because this is where all the action happens. As soon as you land on this tab, you'll see all the most recent transactions happening, the transaction details and the payment status for each transaction. We have the transfer date, BOPL number, card ID, customer first name and last name, transfer currency, total transfer amount, payment status, user email, and other details. If you want to narrow down your view by date or any other information specific to the transaction, the filter of functionality would be of great help. Let's say you want to view all your successful transactions for the past month. So you choose a start date, choose end date, and on the status, select success, click search, and there you go. If you want to search per customer, you can use the first name, last name, email address, POID, or card ID. Please keep in mind though that you won't be able to use the first name and the last name filter functions if they have been hard coded. Cart ID is a unique identifier for each of your customer's transactions so you might want to use this instead. Email address is more useful if you want to look for all transactions related to that certain customer. Example, if you want to look for the transactions of customer email address to ning at gmail.com, just type in the email address and the email field and click search. Another good thing is you will be able to export the report in CSV format if you wish to. Now that we've completed the transaction monitoring, let's move on to transaction summary section. The transaction summary allows you to generate reports weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. Same thing earlier, all you need to do is fill in the start and end dates of your choice click search and the report will populate. Please know that we are using a test environment which is a reason why you see different currencies but on your own account you'll only see the currency you're processing. If you're wondering what's that merchant field above it's your details. For this test the merchant name is Endeavor CUP and M999-C-15 is your company ID or CID. 
Please do not mind the name on the profile. Like what I said earlier, we are only using a test environment. Since I already mentioned about the profile, let's go to the last section, which is my profile. This is an added and cool feature showing the account information like the company name, account status, username, and the most recent logs that happened on your account. You can also change your password and edit your profile. Well, that's the last bit of the dashboard system, and this ends our walkthrough of the PaySec dashboard. We endeavor to provide excellent service for you. Please feel free to contact us for any assistance. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.